Hello, NASDAQ followers. Thanks for joining for another episode of NASDAQ Spotlight. I'm your host, Emily Drury. Today we are sitting down with CEO, chairman, and founder of Netgear, NASDAQ Listed, who were here in town um, for their analyst day. Patrick Lowe, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. Glad so, to be here. <laughs> we're happy to have you here today. So, big news, Wi-Fi 6 is here. Correct. Tell me what this is and why it's such a big deal. Well, it is a huge deal because it's prepping the world for the next generation of the smart homes where the internet of things is going to reign. I mean, people are starting to install internet connected light bulbs, door locks, cameras, and more and more even the appliances such as as much as the refrigerators, even the cooking stove are internet connected. So in order to get all these devices connected to the internet without interfering with your gameplay, with your streaming of Netflix, without, you know, with your streaming of Disney, you need Wi-Fi 6. That's the only way to do it. Fantastic. So Netgear's technology is taking us into the future. Um, how is it changing the way that we connect? Well, certainly, I mean, as I said, it, it, it enables you to say, hey, you know what? You look at anything in the house that is powered by electricity, you say, I want it to be connected to the internet. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to control it when I'm inside a house with either the smartphone or my voice. And when I'm outside of the house, I could definitely want to control it remotely with my cell phone. And that really changes the whole game, yeah. And it really sounds so futuristic. It's something that we couldn't have imagined. No, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's pretty much here. And, and you would say, I would say, you know, a good portion of American homes are already outfitted with either a electric door lock or some internet connected light bulbs or light switches. They could remotely turn on and off. And clearly thermostat is the most uh, you know, popular one. Mm -hmm. I mean, imagine that before you go home, half an hour before you turn up the heat or yeah. turn, turn up the air conditioning, you save a lot of energy and make yourself a lot more comfortable. I've got to get caught up. <laughs> My home is behind. I'm not there yet. Yes. <laughs> so, but, but I think this is an interesting topic because with any new tech, people kind of have concerns, especially when it comes to your home and, yes. and equipping your home with, with this kind of technology. So what has Netgear done um, to solve these concerns, specifically around cybersecurity? Yes, you, you, you're absolutely right. We, we heard so many horror stories. Mm -hmm first that you know some cameras get absconded <laughs> so the cameras actually kind of all by itself follow you <laughs> as you walk around now that's pretty scary right the other thing is we have seen other people getting their electric light bulbs mm -hmm. absconded to attack some other people mm -hmm. so that's real so we need to really protect all these internet of things devices now if you have a mobile phone you have a pc yeah you can download some software to protect against cyber security threat but if it is electric stove, it probably can. Right. So that's why what we have rolled out on our internet routers and gateways, uh, cyber security protection software that is real time connected with the latest list of threats that could really fan them off. So not even the light bulbs or the door locks could be hacked. So it is centrally located into the gateway into the house, which is the router. And we're getting quite a bit of uh, adoption from our install based customers who really like that kind of protection. Fantastic. Yeah, just making sure that they're, they're covered That's right. cohesively. All, exactly, all right. All Especially aspects. when so many things are internet connected. So the Netgear products that are on the market are, are cutting edge, of course, um, from the new Wi-Fi 6 router to Orbi, your smart home device. Yes. So how do you manage to, to stay ahead of the game with the constant evolution of tech? Well, I mean, I think the most important thing is to have a singular focus. You know, our singular focus ever since we established ourselves about 25 years ago is to be absolutely the leading connectivity champion mm -hmm. for home users. We always look out for the latest technology. If we don't find them, we invented them, <laughs> right? So, and we find them, we work with our partners. So, and we have a, a lot of good partners uh, in Silicon Valley, I mean, it's Qualcomm, Broadcom, Marvel, and uh, Intel, all these are partners that we all work together to bring the newest technology uh, to the market. So for the last two, three years, not only that we are the pioneer in helping to get Wi-Fi 6 out, we're also in the pioneer of getting the 5G out. Mm -hmm. so, so I think our relationship, our ecosystems in the Silicon Valley is very good and then um, we have established ourselves over the last 25 years as the guru of radio frequency connectivity. So I think we can keep it going and really push the technology forward. 
Absolutely. So speaking of forward, what, what's next? What do you what are you most excited for in you the know, coming years? Wi-Fi 6 is going <laughs> to last a few more years, right? <laughs> and, and, and we're definitely looking for to, towards Wi-Fi 7 <laughs> and so on. But I think more immediate for next year or so, I think the 5G revolution is going to be very exciting for the industry as well for us in, in many, many ways. So we're prepping for them uh, for that in 2020. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, I'm excited to, to learn more about get, how to get my home connected <laughs> yes. um, and to, to continue to watch Netgear innovate and, oh, absolutely. and grow absolutely. in the years to come. So yeah. thank you so much, Patrick, for joining me today. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Thank you. thank you, NASDAQ Facebook followers for watching. Stay tuned for more NASDAQ Spotlight interviews coming right here.